Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing for Wednesday, the 3rd of April. Well, the unsettled weather continues. We've got here the midday chart and there's quite strong low pressure, uh, sorry, high pressure just sort of over the continent, uh, just to the south of Spain, uh, keeping all these low pressure systems over the top of us at the moment. Today, they've shown this low pressure just to our north and at midday, they're painting on here this trough line. It looks like it's just slightly to the east of Lasham. You see the isobars are quite tight together, bringing in a westerly flow later on. Continuing on to tomorrow, similar picture. The winds should be a little bit lighter than it were originally thought, I think. Um, <clears throat> but this occlusion here could cause us some issues. And moving further ahead to Friday, isobar is really quite tight. So strong wind and probably unsettled weather. Okay, wind today at midday, it's showing 260 degrees at 30 to 35 knots at flying height. So fairly brisk. Sat pick. Yeah, you can see it's pretty cloudy over most of the country, really. No real clearance in sight. Uh, just got to wait for it to heat up a bit and uh, this cloud burn off, I think. Rainfall radar, you can see a few very small spots sort of scattered over the entire country. Um, the issue we've got at the moment is just very damp and we've got this low cloud. Going through the morning, you can see you've got this very light band of what is showing as rain going through. So that's probably just drizzle and or low cloud. And it's generally drying out during the morning and lifting into what are like scattered showers into the afternoon. Later in the afternoon, looking a bit clearer. Public forecast then showing a bit of drizzle and rain this morning and then clearing up a little bit in the afternoon. Otherwise, strong southwesterly breeze to begin with, and that's veering round to the west. And notice here it's going to be quite significant as the wind gusts 25 at the moment. We're getting up to 28 knots later on. It could well go a little bit stronger than that. Humidity currently 93% and that's staying quite high until about midday. So that's probably going to stop us flying for a couple of hours, bringing with it very low cloud. And you see here, very poor visibility, but improving by about midday. So midday, GFS is showing 9 or 10 degrees with dew points about 8. Uh, if we go forward. So this is uh, 3 p.m. UTC, so that's... 4 p.m. local, uh, potentially 12 or 13 degrees. Looks a bit warmer generally to the south, with dew points also around 8. So we're just relying on it warming up, really. The more it warms up, the better weather we'll be left with, although more likely it will develop into showers, I expect. That's currently outside. You can see it's quite southerly at the moment. But we've got this low cloud base, unfortunately. Currently not actually that cold, just under 10 degrees. Dew points is 7.5. Odium's latest was scattered at 1,000. I think it's a little bit out of date now. Uh, forecasting for this morning, they've put here until midday, scattered at 600 feet. Um, but they've also put here some other ones, 7 till 1 p.m., light rain and drizzle. But they've also put here, becoming from 9 till 1 p.m., a few clouds at 2,000. So they seem to be covering themselves quite a lot there. Uh, they've Per here all day, 18 knots from the west-southwest with gusts up to 30 and a prob 40 here. Just some scattered clouds this afternoon. Um, they're sort of just putting a bit of everything on there. Farnborough then is similar by the looks of it. All day broken at 1,200, so about 1,000 above Lasham, but lower this morning. So until midday, 700 feet with some drizzle. And they've also put here gusts up to 27 knots. And from midday onwards, prop 30 of rain showers. Okay, top meteo, 10 a.m. is showing this lower cloud and drizzle around. 11 a.m. still there, but by midday, it is clearing up, but you can see lots of drizzle around. And going into the afternoon, it is clearing up, but drizzle around, so the chance of a shower really all day. There's no no times to worry about today. Okay, operationally will be interesting today. If we manage to get out there early enough, we'll be setting up on 2-3. So that'll be with the launch point in the normal position. Cables running down the edge. Okay, now listen very carefully to this part. Right-hand circuits will be on 
The left hand circus will be will be onto two seven hard. The grass is really wet at the moment. Uh, so when we're towing out, we'll tow directly out to the main runway and then down to the launch point and try and keep the gliders on the tarmac from that point onwards. So if we set, set up on 2-3, there'll be right circus onto 2-3, left circus onto 2-7 hard. Uh, later on, though, the wind is veering, so we will have to set up on 2-7 in the afternoon. So that'll be with the launch point set into the airfield about here. Cables running down the edge of the runway. And it'll be south side circuits onto the main runway. Any north side circuits will be onto the north side grass. If you're unsure about that at all, come and speak to me and Barry. Okay, we've got three K21 today, seven, seven, four, five, and six. And to be honest, I don't think anything else will be coming out of the hangar. It'll just be the K21s with the strength of the wind. Uh, please read the ground handling guide this morning. Uh, we've been leaving ground radios in the buggies. have been working quite well, uh, leaving them in the glove box with them set to channel one with the volume high. Uh, listen for the reg of the glider you're towing, uh, and that's your call sign. So if you're towing 774, then give us a call on the radio. That's buggy 774. Uh, but we've got a Navajo <clears throat> doing a test flight between one and half past two and then departing again at four. It uh, doesn't bother us too much with the setup we're using. Uh, and potentially another one that they haven't confirmed the time. As I mentioned, very wet grass, so tow straight out to the main runway and then down. Uh, please do not tow on the perimeter track. Uh, if we're on 2-3, uh, we're going to be banning no in uh, any intentional straight-ahead cable breaks. It is really, really soggy on the south side. Of course, if you have a cable break, then you need to do whatever, uh, but no intentional straight-ahead cable breaks on 2-3, please. Uh, and you can't land on the cross runway either, as that just shreds the tyres. Um. If we're on two, three, avoid the very wet area just to the left. Uh, I'll mark that with a, with a load of tyres. It's got really bad from uh, where we've just been towing gliders over it all the time. Um, so we'll just avoid that part. Very strong wind today. So aim to be wings level on the approach, nice and high, four to 500 feet at least if you can. And keep a steep half to full air brake approach, uh, maintaining at least 60 knots. While we're not flying today, the simulator is serviceable as ever. Okay, we'll get what we can out of it. I will see you at some point. Bye for now.